All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? Oh no! Oh! This one. I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. Was that the right line? The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. Good job, My Poe. brave spirit, Woo. who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Shit. Hell is and full? Cried. <clears throat> Hell is full, so, uh, therefore, uh, <laughs> uh, now's the time to die. If only. But are I they tried. Real? Safe? All right. I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Yes, the shipwreck. I want to play her part. <laughs> uh, me too, I messed up the line. But dude, it was last minute. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Yes, right here. I'm supposed to stand right here. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the aisle. In loops? By all the gods in heaven, when is Juliet getting here? Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? Uh, damn. Okay, I'm trying here. I, I, oh, I don't know what to pick! My liberty. Indeed. It's... Yes. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. What? Th that's not her line. Is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom. Didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way Shh. off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you? Wish you to be free. Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures, I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek 
to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty's forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Damn! Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Rachel is such a phenomenal Thanks, actress. Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. You're welcome? <laughs> No problem. What the hell just happened? Was that real? Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! <laughs> Caliban! Come forth, I say! As wicked do as e'er my mother brush with raven's feather from unwholesome fen. Drop on you both. A southwest blow on ye and blister you all o'er. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art. I have lodged thee in mine own cell till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Oh ho, oh ho, would it had been done. Thou didst prevent me. I had peopled else this isle with Caliban. Nathan is actually a good actor. In I'm impressed. And be quick. So, slave, hence. He's really good. Where should this music be? In the air or the earth? No, this I'm not gonna lie, they're all good. Super intense. Yeah, it's actually pretty interesting. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor. Oh, the fight of all fights. Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. She's biting. Hey, release me from my bands. She's biting the this, this of role. Your good hands. Like she's so good. Rachel Amber, you're such a phenomenal actress. Good job. I could see why they gave you this role. Congrats, congrats. Damn, they're really stumping dumb hard though, I'm not gonna lie. And Chloe actually stood and watched the whole thing. Look at that, you can tell she loves it. Nah, I'm good, hon. Enjoy yourself. Be in the spotlight. Wasn't that fun? Rachel! You're so dead. Yeah? What the hell? How dead? Hella dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There you go. Mm hmm I'm a little shy right now, but... I guess I'm appreciated. For my last minute improv, you know. Wait, who's watching? Who's that? <laughs> oh my god. 
God, Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. <laughs> I tried, man. It's hard to memorize lines so last minute like that. I would need he at least a day. Was shitting himself. <laughs> yeah, I that he was. Me. And to think I was able to do the play even though I was expelled from school, that's even more hilarious. But at least the play turned out well, and Rachel definitely handled it. Like, she carried that play on her shoulders. And I'm happy she actually got to play, too. Just imagine if Victoria was doing the play. I bet that that whole thing would have been a mess. You could tell she wasn't even into it, either. She's just My doing dear, it just to what spite if I Rachel. Told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure was getting worse. Huh? That's how I never felt. Never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right. You were no, you like seriously. What? I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? I think I'm just happy it's over. The last 12 hours have been freaking intense. Yeah. You've gone through so much shit today. Right Tell now me about it's pretty it. good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Oh? Come on. Oh shit. Oh, oh, it's so cute. Ah. Oh, look at Chloe blushing. She's like, oh, I'm holding her hand. This is nice. Let's leave. Hmm? For real. Like now? For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but like, eventually. Let's go now. But we don't have any money Didn't or car. We, stage? <gasps> we can't just... Wait, you actually mean it? Why not? What about money? Yeah, I Rachel. You were a high rolling criminal now. Oh. I collected the money Frank wanted, but then I gave it back to Drew instead. It sounded like he needs it more. He does, no actually. Shit. But man, I'm not looking forward to what Frank has to say when he finds out. We'll figure it out, Corey. Anyway, I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money for my dad. Oh. Or should I say, hush money. Damn, I'm sorry, Any hon. more questions? I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. Oh. Wouldn't it hurt your mom? She doesn't deserve that, right? I don't deserve to live in the middle of my parents' mistakes. Okay. Right? Of course you don't. Okay, so she has a point, and it seems to me like Rachel thinks she's better off without having to worry about her mom. Obviously, she doesn't worry about her dad, so... How far could we possibly get without a car? Oh, yeah, that's true. I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. Ooh. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? You know what? Yeah, I can. That's hot. In other words, we've got transportation covered. As long as I fix it, though. <laughs> 
Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> she wants to probably. No, actually, that's what I'm I want. Feeling like an indefinitely long road trip. That sounds like the greatest idea anyone's ever thought of. You and me driving down the coast, filling up our truck with hilarious souvenirs, and every night we'll find a different beach to walk along and watch the sun go down. That sounds One so day, sapphic. We'll be at a gas station fixing the brakes, and some guy with no shirt on will come up. Yeah, okay. He'll be like, that's so hot that you know about cars. And I'll say, back off. She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Look at Rachel. She's so <laughs> hopeful about her future. Rachel. I love that. Stop. What? If what happened? You don't mean this. It's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they definitely got good chemistry together. Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Oh! <gasps> Say it. About, Say it, um, Chloe. Come on, Chloe. Oh. Wait. Chloe's mad nervous. <gasps> oh, snap! They did! Aww. Wow. Kissing in the middle of the street. How sapphic of them. Is that convincing enough? Yeah. Damn. Okay, Rachel. We already know who takes the lead from here. Okay. I see. And it's snowing now? How romantic is this? Oh, Chloe shit. is, like, so sprung up. Right? You know what? I'm glad I... Wait, that's not snow. That's what, ashes. What is this stuff? That's ashes from the flames. Oh, y'all need to get in. It's a sign. I think we should leave tonight. Really? If you want to, I'm ready. Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. For you or for me? I gotta say, my clothes look damn good on you. Cool. Thank you. Let's do it. And then we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me, Rachel. That sounds perfect. Wow, I can't believe this. A lot has happened, transpired even. And you can tell Rachel actually likes Chloe. And you can tell Chloe is falling for her. Wow, she has a nice house. Chloe, what's wrong? This house is beautiful, Rachel. But what's going on within the walls that you want to leave this place so bad? Oh, dinner time. Mom's cooking. Okay, okay. Chloe, you dork. Oh. Oh, you're home. Dad. Rose, Rachel's home. 
And she um, brought her new friend. Yeah, we're friends, sir. Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. How nice Rachel, of you. Honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Rachel, Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I wow. made chicken a la king. What? I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Uh, actually... Thanks, but I, I was just gonna stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? Dinner plans? <laughs> I always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but no, with you and Rachel becoming dinner. such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. Sure. Uh, sorry, okay. Rachel. I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming <laughs> off that way, but don't let your guard down. Okay, and good to know. Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Uh, alright, Rachel, I'll just behave. Some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? I just got a text from Steph. Let me see what she says. Huh. I believe it. Hold on. Okay. I heard you were in the Tempest. Yeah, I was kind of a big deal. I believe it. Everyone says the show was awesome. You get medals for two good deeds today. Drew's okay. Mikey will text you and update in a bit. Oh, shit. Tell them both I'm pulling for them. I'm happy Drew is fine. I was really worried about that. Now I have to go and play nice to Amber's parents. Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. Wow, her parents are really proud of her, I can tell. Crazy. And then the dad right here. It's like a thousand times more skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. I agree with Chloe. He may seem nice to your face, but I know for a fact that morning when they all came home, they were talking mad shit about me. I can tell he's that type. They say all news is local, but damn. Fire grows despite interagency efforts. Largest fire in Arcadia history frightens residents and baffles authorities. Dude, the fact that Rachel and Amber actually did that, I'm <laughs> shook. There's like not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. Can I actually look through it? Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay though. Congrats to the wonderful cast and crew of The Tempest. So sorry I missed out, guys. Emergency came up. Love you guys. I am so sorry. Why sorry? You don't control the fire. Or do you? Chloe held it down like a champ. Any update on how Drew's doing? Recovering. We're going to see him first thing tomorrow. Hmm. How to clear browser history. Followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. Arcadia Bay Golf Sale, The Beacon, 40 plus healthy lifestyle, Ign incognito tab, how to incognito tab, how to clear your browser history, small shops, not face. 
Wow, that is so insane. That is crazy. The father is clearly doing some suspicious stuff here. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? Your daughter's pretty great. Thank you. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just want to shake her? No, he doesn't get it. Yeah. Uh, uh, me neither. The fact that he looked at her blankly, too, he's like, what a very peculiar woman. What do you think? I thought Rachel was perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just meant the wizard part. Ah, uh, I suppose that's also true. You can tell Chloe is really talking so positively about Rachel. Almost as if Chloe wants Rachel's parents to just realize what they have before she disappears. So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. Wait. So, I can call you if I'm ever district arrested? <laughs> what would you be arrested for? It was a joke. Not a good one, clearly. Duty calls. <laughs> hey, good chat, Mr. Amber. Mm-hmm. Wow, you can tell he's really not interested in talking to her. Crazy. I can see why Rachel doesn't want to really associate herself with her dad like that. It's a nice chair, though. So this is what normal looks like. It's somehow way more boring and way weirder than I imagined. It's crazy to picture Rachel growing up here and being happy here, at least before she met me. And I mean... now I'm taking her away. <laughs> or is she taking me away? This doesn't really seem like the kind of place people run away from. What am I saying? Fuck this place. I could see it. I mean, sure, it has personality to it, but I feel like it's kind of like forced, you know? Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. I know I did the right thing, giving Drew his money back, but... Man, I wouldn't want to be on this guy's bad side. Damien Murick, The Mill, a converted lumber mill club north of town, suspected of larceny, damn, extortion, distribution, assault, clearly, robbery, murder, known associates, Francis Bowser's, Sheldon Pike, Sarah Gerhard, Peter Gillespie, Rodney Thunder Sears. Wow, this is going a lot more deeper than I thought it would. And you know what, Chloe? I'm glad you acknowledged the fact that I actually did the good choice of giving Drew his money because clearly he needs it. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. That's because they have the money for it. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. Legal Digest, Withering Heights, The Divine Comedy, Bleak House, Metamorphosos, Books One. Okay, this is cute. Clearly, they're very highly educated. And they expect the same thing with Rachel Amber. How, how many cabinets do you need? Why would I want to open this, though? And Chloe, we're dealing with rich people. It makes Everything sense. about this house is nicer, cleaner, better, and more expensive than mine. Which isn't saying much, but you... still. Chloe, comparison is a thief of joy. Damn. Wonder if this is a family heirloom. 
Just because they have nicer things doesn't mean that their life is actually better. Oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. Edge Lord is always glory, but like I said, just because they have nicer things doesn't mean that their, you know, their life is nice. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. Oh, Chloe, I'm so sorry. I know you have some resentment of losing your dad. It's obvious. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Are we going to improve? Uh, this one. Chloe, what are you doing? Are you really writing the words or not? Oh, Something. wow. That's horrible. That is so horrible. There's no puzzle to which swords isn't the solution. Horrible, Chloe. So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. If I open this, will skeletons come spilling out? Why would we need to open... You know what? I'm not going to say anything. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. DA James Amber cracks down on drugs. Can't Are we going to do this? this whole Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. Well, good, because I'm not in the mood to getting in trouble, Chloe. You're crazy. Should we open up the cabinets, though? Let me see. Glasses. Damn. The ambers are fancy as shit. Tell me about it. That's some pretty fine... Fine... Never realized right there. that getting drunk could be so complicated. Can we close this door? No, we're actually leaving it open? Chloe, you're crazy. At least close the cabinet. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Oh, oh, Mikey. Hey, Chloe. Drew's out of surgery. In pain, but okay. Holy shit, Mikey, I'm so sorry. It's okay. You stuck with me. Plus, you saved our money. We owe you. Wish I could have helped more. Hey, Steph says you were in the play. What? I've had a busy day. Most heroes do. You know, I get it. In Mikey's eyes, I totally am a hero. But honestly, I don't know. I just feel like I was there to try and steal your money. And you're thanking me for giving back the money that I try to steal from you. I don't know. I honestly don't feel like a hero. But... I saw that Drew needed help, and I don't want Mikey to get hurt, so that's why I decided to just give them the money. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Chloe, you better not say anything about that during dinner time, because I am not trying to fight. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.